Hi, everybody. Hello. We are happy to be reporting from Louisville, Kentucky, our first official update since we got here. You tell. And we just want to let you know how things are going and what we've been up to since we got here. We very much enjoyed getting to know the city of Louisville and the area of the Highlands and living on Bardstown Road and everything that comes with that, which is definitely an adventure. May as well be called Weirdstown Road <laughs> or Beardstown Road. Anyways, Destiny Church is doing great. We are loving being a part of the leadership there. We are enjoying lots of great ministry and definitely getting to know people. And one thing that we're doing as a church is taking part in the Belknet Festival, which is coming up this weekend. And it's a pretty large festival here in the Highlands that actually takes place about a block away from where a church building is. And there will be many booths set up. We will have a booth and our theme is going to be Tell Me a Story. And the concept behind that is sharing our story with people and getting them to share their stories with us. And our stories aren't necessarily just our testimony of how we came to salvation, but of seeing the work of the Lord, the power of God in our own lives and being able to share that in a very real and genuine way. And it's going to be a, a great time for us to reach out to the community to kind of make our name known a little bit more, but most of all to bring glory to Jesus. We hope to be able to build some relationships with people who are searching for truth and looking for the answer to what life is all about, whatever they're looking for. And we're excited about what the Lord's going to do while we're there. One of the greatest ways that we've been able to minister here while we've been at Destiny is just in getting to know people. We've had lots of people into our home and we've been building relationships with amazing people who have beautiful hearts and are just an amazing asset to the kingdom of God, to the family of God. And we've seen a lot of grace in relationship with people and we've seen a lot of areas where the Lord has been using us and will be using us to continue to minister to these beautiful children of his and we that's what we're all about so we're really loving that yeah it's been really great too because with the the way things have been working we have had the opportunity actually on many of the church services to be praying for people at the end of the service uh in in a in a very very hands-on way literally hands-on way and the, the most amazing thing about that is just actually having the time with the people to, to hear their needs, to hear the cry of their hearts, and to, to just see them for, for who they are at their deepest place. Because I think it goes without saying that when you're expressing your prayer requests, that you're really at a place when you're most vulnerable uh, in, in a lot of ways. And uh, just being able to see the Lord answer those prayers has been amazing and not only that, but to continue praying for the people um, as well. It's not just like a, you know, one and done kind of thing, but just continuing to follow up and asking about the situations or whatever the case may be. It's It's been a great door to see that they realize that we're here for them and that they care and that so is Jesus. And um, we're looking forward to being able to do that more. Uh, like Michelle said, you know, we've been having people over to our home and we're going to be doing that more now as well because with this new job that I was just offered, which is really amazing, as far as the availability of time with it being Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, we're going to have a lot more availability to welcome people into our home and into our hearts. And in addition to that as well, we're going to finally reach some form of stability as a family as far as our own personal scheduling, which is just absolutely amazing. And... Um, we're, we're really looking forward to this next season of favor from the Lord because we know that's exactly what it is. And uh, this job also will be meeting our needs uh, considerably better financially. Now, it is a base pay with a salary uh, and a commission, 
Now the majority of the pay is commission and it's going to take some startup time as far as the work is concerned for the commission to come in and we still have some very basic needs out there just speaking financially um, like the fact that we still only have one car one of them is broken and the car that is working doesn't actually have heat right now um, you've you're talking about those we still have some basic needs for furniture I mean we're we've when people come over to our house they're sitting on fold-up chairs and uh, uh, camping chairs as it stands and you know the the beautiful thing about that is is that everybody's okay with it you know so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna have people over whether they're okay with camping chairs or not that's the bottom line <laughs> but beyond that if if you would like to to help us in any way then then we have a breakdown on our website it's idestinychurch.com forward slash kushneric you can check out what our needs are you can give right there on the website all of its tax deductible so go ahead and check that out. But ultimately, we know without a doubt that where we are is from the Lord. We are very thankful for what he is doing because what he is doing is very obvious. And it is very, very wonderful mm -hmm. all around. Um, there are great people here and we, without a doubt, don't go a single day without thanking the Lord for, for putting us here. We thank the Lord for what he's doing in our own hearts which has been leaps and bounds, but also how he is using us, which is, is very much for the betterment of the kingdom and for the betterment of people. So with that, I think we will certainly say we love you all, because if you're watching this, then you are a part of our life. We thank you for that. Bye. Bye.